Alrighty, y'all. Hello and welcome back. We are taking a look at some more snooker. Of course, I am just captivated by this game now. I'm really into it. I've been practicing on the, you know, of course, sim on the computer. And uh, the couple videos I've done have done really well and have gotten such a good reception from you guys. Great comments, stuff like that. So we're going to dive into more and look at just how good some of the top players are and how fun it is to witness what they can do. This is, of course, Ronnie O'Sullivan again. He's amazing. We're looking at some of his top genius moments. So this will be linked in the description down below. You can watch the whole thing uninterrupted and, of course, browse our channel. Let's take a look at a few. Yeah, he's going to have to leave the shot. Blue, take the cue ball between green and brown with the right-hand side off the ball. Oh, wow. Got a good line. Oh, oh, oh. Oh my god. So hold on, he already smashed that ball in, but also managed to have the cue ball come all the way down here and break up this red bunch of balls. Which of course I'm sure he will set himself up quite well. It's not bad. It's not bad. He's <laughs> himself a chance. This is what's crazy about this game remember, and about players like him, is that he can set himself up two, three, four shots ahead. Leading to number 21, Ronnie O'Sullivan's Jeez. epic deep screw shot. Oh, what a shot that was. Using the jaw to get onto the pink. You don't see that very often. Number 20, Ronnie O'Sullivan's wow. stunning stun to a long <laughs> red against Stewart. Oh, my God. Amazing pot once again. Number 19, Ronnie O'Sullivan opening a red to steal the frame. Nice wide angle on the green. So this okay, so you see um, that we were down to only a couple reds. He did sink that one. He's also quite a few points behind in this frame. It's the cannon here. Okay, so he's way down here. He does sink the green. It's a great effort. Magnificent. Some freaking how. He had to cue ball sink the green and come all the way down to the other end of the table and knock the black and red ball apart there to, of course, set himself up for that red. This is what is mind-blowing about this game and about what crazy top players can do because, uh, obviously, as a total rookie or noob to the sport, you know I'm over here just thinking of one shot, just making that shot, right? Um, that's what separates masters from regular players is that they can think shots ahead and somehow set them up. It's one thing to be able to sink the ball into the pocket consistently without, you know, making the cue ball as well and all those little details. It's another thing to be able to sink balls constantly and set yourself up perfectly, even at the other end of the table. That's just, it's insane. <laughs> it's really cool though. Really cool to watch. Number 18, Ronnie O'Sullivan's exceptional position shot from a very Ooh. little angle. Here comes Jesus. the cue ball. How's your luck, Ronnie? Looks like it's going to be an awkward How shot. How's your luck? Ugh. That's an awkward shot. Needs it there. Yeah. Oh, my yeah, God. Again, harder than it looks just because of that weird angle there. You can't reach it from this side. can't reach it from down there. Remember, these snooker tables are absolutely huge, and that's one of the craziest things about the sport as well is, uh, you know, most American tables are going to be seven or eight feet, maybe in bars and stuff like that, or at home. Uh, of course, if it's at an actual event, it should be about nine feet long, the American tables for eight ball and stuff like that. These are 12 feet in snooker. I think that's nuts. Number 17, Ronnie <sighs> O'Sullivan potting a crazy red from a tight cushion. He's found something. Oh, dear. Dear I hate cushion shots, by the way. When it's against the cushion and you have to hit it right over it, it it's it's like hiding 50 or 60 percent of the cue ball. It's horrible. It's hard to get good shot, good control, and good velocity on it. But of course, Ronnie O'Sullivan, no problem. It's insane, man. Take my word for it. Well, you said he had to find something. Number Perfect. 16, a crazy deep screw shot by the Rocket. Ooh, look at that. White. 
the action he got on that. And how's the kiss got on the chalk on the table? He was hitting Very it so nice. low. Thank you. But he got that he got that backspin on that cue ball. It knocked the ball in and made sure to work its way back down here. That's what he wanted. <laughs> Seventeen. Look at that. Look at that. Oh my god, it took off. It said, go in there. And I'm going to literally put it in reverse and come down here. I mean, that thing literally changed direction as if it was a living organism. Jeez. Number 15, Ronnie O'Sullivan's epic top spin <laughs> shot against Ding to continue the break. Not for this right-hand side, corner pocket. Yeah, he had a yellow earlier on in the match. Did he miss, similar to this? No, My God, the velocity, no, man. No, it's not even so much the velocity. It's just like, it's this confidence. When he hits the ball, it's almost like you know it's going to go in. You can tell from when he just, whoosh, when his cue slides forward, about to hit the ball, you know it's going to. There's like a confidence involved. He he knows what he's doing. Right there, you just know it's going to fly in there. Number 14, Ronnie O'Sullivan's three ball plant from a distance in the world championship. <laughs> What on earth, man? That's hella hard. How? How? I can't even do that in the video game, let alone real life. At a, at a steep angle. Number 13, Ronnie O'Sullivan's crazy positional shot from black to red. He's Jeez! And he sets himself up for the red? A difficult black that he made look very easy. Oh my god, how? <laughs> Yo, that's wild. That's a pretty good effort. Ooh. He got both. Oh my god. What an effort. What an effort this is. This could be one of the great escapes. Absolutely incredible. Oh, my God. <laughs> this is one of the finest escapes. Number six, Ronnie playing okay. except... Can you imagine? Like, obviously, you would have admiration for the talent as well, but can you imagine how frustrating it would be to play against him? Sometimes when he pulls off these moves, you're like, how the frick did you just do that, man? How did you get out of that? Personal shots using one hand. Now he's having fun. One-handedly playing? <laughs> what is he doing? What? <laughs> Absolutely tremendous performance from Ronnie. Now what he's doing is? It what the hell? <laughs> and in the cards at number five, Ronnie O'Sullivan's historic cannon for a 140. You know he's too damn good. You know he's got natural talent when he could just literally screw around and still hit it better than most of us. <laughs> Seven. Jeez. I don't get it. <sighs> Leading by casual 104 points, by the way. <laughs> and at number four, Ronnie shows his talent as he pots the insane and pressure shot with his opposite hand. Now, surely he's not going to make a 147 playing a left handed deep screw, is he? He's doing left hand. Oh my God. Just switched in the middle of a five second transition there to left hand. Left hand shot. And he sank it like a pro. Go on, White. That is perfect. Look at this. What a shot left-handed, ladies and gentlemen. Wow. Well, holy smokes, that flew by because that was a lot of fun. There is uh, quite a few clips in there we did not even feature here, so make sure to use that link down below. Check out that whole original video and uh, go ahead and check out their stuff. Look, this was highly requested. Just looking at uh, a bunch of different, you know, top moments and stuff from Ronnie O'Sullivan, and as always, uh, does not disappoint. I mean, when you look at just immense greats that were almost like, you know, aliens in their sport, like just out of this world. You know, uh, like you think of like Michael Jordan for basketball and NBA, right? No doubt, best of all time, in my opinion. When you look at motorsports like Dale Earnhardt, Michael Schumacher, Ayrton Senna, like. You know, all these different people that had these just this it factor, they're they're just so good at the sport, it's almost 
it, it's like art. It's like poetry. It, it doesn't, it's sometimes just beyond comprehension how some people are good at things. And it's really, really cool to watch. And uh, yeah, that's what it feels like to me, even though I'm still so new to the sport and I, you know, I don't know the ins and outs of it. Like maybe a lot of people that have watched this for decades do, I can still appreciate and be mind blown by how good he is. I can tell how good he is at the sport. It's insane how he makes it look easy too. Lots of fun. Uh, you guys have, you know, done some really awesome educational comments and of course some great suggestions related to this kind of thing. So please keep it up. I really do appreciate that. And uh, hopefully I'll see you in the next one. I hope your week is uh, going well so far. It's all I got for you in this one. My name is Ian. You're watching IW Rocker. And until next time, y'all, take care and I'll catch you later.